Hello and welcome to this exercise on Pythagoras theorem ratios and similar triangle. Now, the reason why I got all three skills in here is because we are dealing with uh, a past a, a question from a past exam paper. Right. Essentially, we've got three circles: circles A, circle B, and circle C. Now, here we got the equations for circle A. Now, the coordinates for the center of circle A is 24 and 12 with the radius of the square root of 100 radius is 10 so from there to there is 10 similarly for circle a this is the equation the center being minus 12 so the coordinate of the center being minus 12 and minus 15 with the radius of the square root of 25 which is 5 okay right now we need to find uh, the length of CA. Yeah, we need to find this length here. And to do that, we do some construction work. Okay. Right. Now, an, another one from B parallel to AD. So we've got BE there as well. Right. Now, from the center of circle A to the y axis is 12. And for the y-axis to the center of circle C is 24. 24 plus 12 is 36 units. So the length of AD is 36 units. Now, by the same argument, the from C to the x-axis is 12. And for the x-axis to the center of A is 15. So the length of CD is 27. Now, we now want to find CA. Uh, to do that, we use Pythagoras theorem. And that's what you've got there, because find the hypotenuse. And we end up with AC being 45 there. Okay? So now, uh, the radius of circle A is 5. The radius of circle C is 10. So if CA is 45 it then means that the diameter of B is 30 because 45 minus 10 minus 5 it gives you 30 which means that the radius of circle B is 15 right now we've got two triangles here Tr triangle CBE small triangle and triangle CAD now both are similar because BE is parallel to AD is parallel to uh, the x-axis. So that's 90 and that's 90. That angle there is equal to this angle A because of corresponding angles. This angle is common to both to both triangles. So CBE and AD are, and CAD are similar triangles. Now, that being the case, we can then say that CE, this one here, divided by 27, which is the equivalent side, is equal to 25, which is this one here, divided by 45, which is the whole length of AC. So, which then give us the value of CE as 15. Okay, because when you cancel 25 and 45 by 5, you get 5 over 9. Divide um, 27 by 9, you get 3. 9 by 9, you get 1. So 3 times 5 is 15. So CE is 15. Now, from the center of circle C to the x-axis is 12. And from the x-axis to the center of circle B has to be 3. And because we're below the x-axis, so the y-coordinate of circle B, so the y-coordinate of the center of circle B is minus 3. Similarly, we can get BE. Now, BE is hopefully going to give us 20. So, from, from there to there is 20. From there to there is 36, which means that from the center of circle A 
to the center of circle B parallel to the x-axis is 16. So from there to there is 16 because from there to there is 20. So from there to there is 16. But we know that from the center of circle A to the y-axis is 12, which then means that the uh, from the center of circle B to the y-axis has got to be 4. So the uh, x -ac the x coordinate of uh, the point B or the, the center of the circle B is 4. Now that being the case, uh, we know that the radius of circle B is 15 from there, divided by 2, get 15. So the equation of circle B, uh, right, the coordinate of circle B is 4, 3. So the equation of circle B is going to be x minus 4, change the sign, all squared, plus y minus minus 3, which is y plus 3, all squared, is equal to 2 to 5. Now, 2 to 5 is 15 squared. And that's what's required. And I hope all that made sense. And um, please subscribe. Please, please pause the video and have a look at it again. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.